So, you know, so you find out from chapter one and chapter two, a lot of things that you never knew in the movie, uh, you know, but the main thing is that uh, who Lorian is, that she's an asset, you know, and that she's sent into the house to do damage because uh, the fact they're going to pull the program, then they have to clean it up. So uh, why, For well, in, in my view, it's due to obsolescence. But everyone can have a different point of view or a different opinion on it. We just have to follow, you know, we have to create more uh, story and with, with Lori and to find out exactly, you know, the dimensions of her uh, involvement. To me, she's always been, she's like a CIA baby. You know, she's always been sent in. She has special skills. Uh, you know, she didn't like guns and then, uh, then she's an expert in guns. You know, she's... She's looking for a, a lover, for, for a husband to fall in love, and then she's being used as a, as a you know, she, she's, she's in a sense becomes a honeypot, you know. So it's, it's uh, there's, there seems to be always a purpose. So that's what you get in the first two chapters. That's what you're going to get in chapter two. Um, a, more background on Sheriff Maddox and, and Heinrich, their relationship. Maddox was very complicated because he is... Uh, good old country boy kind of guy, country boy sheriff. At the same time, he's been in some very sophisticated operations overseas and in the military. And that's, of course, it, everything Everything goes back to military psyop, military special operations, military um, high-end top secret uh, uh, things that, you know, warfare that goes on. And we know it goes on. We, we, we've read the books. We've seen the movies. We know that it's going on, but they, they're just not going to admit to it. But we understand that um, these uh, dolls, whether they're for sex or whether they're for war, uh, they're definitely an asset. And so you find out a lot more about that. You'll, you'll see how Lorian is with her. You've already seen with her boyfriend, Jeff Blake, who's a flake, but you know, he's, he's another connected guy and he's, uh, you, you know, you can see she's questioning herself. Like, is this really her memory? Is that really her name? And she's flashing around to different points in time. So she's, uh, needing to be debriefed and to be, well, she needs to be put into a reality that she can count on that's solid because every, all her realities uh evaporate and really of course because she's just used as a uh part of a bigger problem which is people being used for certain missions and they have no life of their own right they're handled and controlled from you know day one to day to the last day and um you know the hope is that they don't you know become expendable because then they can be expendable in case of Lorian, she's a very special person so she's not, you know, she's capable of defeating, well, let me put it this way. She's capable of defeating our, you know, uh, military units, one person. And she doesn't know it. She doesn't know who she is. So I hope that gives you a, a, a kind of exciting feeling about chapter two. And then, you know, the because the formatting on Substack is so bad, I have to... Uh, go and reformat and look for, you know, mistakes in, uh, you know, as I put each chapter up, but uh, as promised, you've got chapter two right now. And um, for those who want to be part of this, uh, I guarantee it'll be a collector thing someday, probably sooner than later. Um, just all depends when I die, really. <laughs> So, but if you want to be a part of that, then, uh, then you would, you need the book, which you can get at crazedhouse.com and you should go to crazedhouse.com anyway, because there's some exciting things about, you know, a new movie with restored angel tide and some other things, you know, some other exciting events going on, but you know, I would get that. I would, you know, I would use that as and you, you can put it up against it, that. The published version is not the same as what you're reading here. What you're reading here is my my pre-edited, uh, pre-other-person-edited uh, version. 
And to that end, I think basically uh, you're going to get it just, you know, it's going to be, it's pretty special. I don't know how long we leave it up. I, I you know, I've got, nobody's bothering me about it right at the moment. So it looks like we're good to go. It's not like the hospital story where I had to put that on hold because uh, the attacks were so bad. Yeah, <laughs> big pharma, big medicine is, uh, uh, geez, man. It's uh, their eyes everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. Just people are everywhere. And uh, see you next time. We'll see you for chapter three.